Hey there, Shoeby Doodlers. How are you doing? Well, about two, three, maybe four years ago, I did a poll here on YouTube and I asked people how much, what kind of percentage of the book price did they think that authors got? And I kind of offered 100%, 50%, 20%, 10%, 5%. Most people actually went for 50%. Well, the truth is quite different, uh, as I'm going to explain. When I began my career here in the UK about 35 years ago, uh, we had this amazing thing called the net book agreement. And if you reckon, say, let's say a book is £10. I think my books were probably like £2 in those days. But let's say it's 10 because it's a nice, easy number. It could be 10 euros. It could be $10. It's just a 10. It makes it easy. So the net book agreement used to say that every book that was made and went into a bookshop or whatever had to be sold at the price that was written on the back. And it was a, an agreement between all the publishers and all the distributors and bookshops. That's what happened. So back in those days, pretty much everything that I uh, <laughs> did went straight into hardback. And it earned 10%. So let's say this is the full amount of money that comes in from the book, £10. Then that's 10%, uh, 10%, which equals £1. So that's what I would get. So like I say, it was <laughs> probably more like £2 or one ninety nine, than I'd get kind of 20 pence a book or something like that. Authors and illustrators, they get given an advance by the publisher to pay them while they are writing and illustrating and that advance then gets paid off uh, from the money that comes in from royalties. And that first edition of the hardback would get sold to libraries and schools, um, would pay off the advance, it was fantastic. And then about a year later, uh, you would maybe sell the paperback rights, which would just mean a year later you got some more money, which was absolutely brilliant. And then with a bit of luck, you would sell translations and all sorts of other stuff as well. <laughs> so let's put that back over there. And then things began to change. The supermarkets uh, started to really get some muscle and they wanted to be able to sell books um, and they wanted to sell books at a discount and they wanted to sell them cheap. So it would bring more people coming in. In theory, that wasn't allowed. My publishers, Hodder, at the time decided they wanted to break the agreement and they started selling to Tesco's and other supermarkets at a higher discount. So what happens is that with that 10 pounds that's written on the back, it's the recommended retail price, okay? Recommended, okay, remember that word. Um, so what used to happen in those days, the bookshop got sort of 33% discount. That meant that the bookseller got £3.30 out of that £10, uh, which pays for their heating, lighting, rates, rent, everything, staff, whatever. So that's what they used to get. And then Tesco said, but we want to sell these books a bit cheaper, so we want a higher discount. Well, what about 50%? So the publishers go, well, if we, yeah, if you sell a whole lot more, then we can print a whole lot more and uh, and then uh, that'll bring the unit cost price down. So yeah, okay, we can do 50%. And then they think, mm, wait a minute, how are we gonna get all that back? <laughs> Let's take it off the author. So the author was getting 10, percent except that the supermarkets didn't want hardbacks they only wanted paperbacks so in fact let's talk about 7.5 percent so the author's getting 7.5 percent of that 50 percent they go Ooh, well i think you're gonna have to knock this down to say six percent if it goes above 50 percent and of course it's never going to go less than 50 percent so forget about all of this we are now down to six percent and then the supermarkets get a bit more boisterous. They go, whoa, what about 60%? And the salesman goes in, they go, well, okay, we can probably do, we can do that if we nudge the, the, 
the author down to save 5%. And so in your contract, you have this great load of stuff where you see at the top, whoa, 10%, fantastic, on hardbacks, and 7.5% on paperbacks. And you don't really read the small print about if it goes above 50%, you're getting 6 If it goes above 5 you're going to get 5 And you don't really read all that stuff. So the supermarkets say, we don't want hardbacks. So immediately you are on 7.5%. Okay, um, which is a little bit different. Okay, so we're on 7.5%, which is 75p. So you're happily thinking you're getting 75p a book, but in fact, you're getting 50p a book. And in theory, selling a whole lot more. But these sort of mega editions started to get smaller and smaller and smaller because um, what the publishers realized was if, if they go and sell, say, 5,000 copies, to Tesco's, then the run on print prices are negligible. So they then get in their warehouse, they get copies which they basically haven't paid for, which means that they're getting a, a, a much larger profit on the ones that they finally sell to the bookshops and other outlets. It all gets a little bit murky. And then, oh my goodness, without anybody really noticing, this recommended retail price turned into publishers' receipts. I before E, except after C. So what happens there? <laughs> Here, we're getting 7.5% of the recommended retail price. Here, we are getting 7.5% of publishers' net receipts. So oh, let's chop that right in half, like that. And then, if we're going to 60%, oh, we've got to chop off another lot there because they're cutting that down again. And we could probably cut a little bit more if we're going up to 75% if we're doing a really big deal. So we're coming down, down, down. Uh, <laughs> and, and this is kind of where we're going. I've actually had it come down to 0.3%. Um, of the recommended retail price before for a book club. And with, as far as children's books are concerned, the majority of children's books, certainly in, in my kind of genre, are sold through school book clubs. And you'd be selling 20,000 copies and receiving as an author, you know, sort of a hundred pounds or something like that. And, it, and each year you would get your royalty statement and think, is it really worth carrying on? <laughs> this is, what we're now getting from that. Okay, so that's what I was getting when I started. This is what I'm getting now. And if you have an agent, which I didn't have an agent, you're going to be paying them 25%. Um, um, when this all started, then agents used to take 10%, but psh, <laughs> they're getting 10% of less and less and less, so they had to put their percentage up to stay where they were before. And don't forget that the agent is uh, VAT registered, you might not be, so you're going to have to pay 20% like, on top of that to the government for the privilege of having an agent. Um, and we are now down to there. And that is what an author gets now compared to what I used to get when I started. The Society of Authors here in the UK has done various polls on its members. There is kind of this top sort of, you know, two to three percent who sell a lot of books, um, big sellers. <laughs> and then we got this massive, great big thing of sort of like probably about 50 percent of what we used to call uh, mid-list. Uh, and I think I would have been called mid-list. Um, and then you've got mm -mm, the rest. Who, who write one book or something like that, and they're not really sort of career authors. So the Society of Authors has done, so the Society of Authors has done various polls over the last years, and author, authors' earnings have actually been going down in real terms, not just in relative terms, uh, for the last 20 years. And now I think the average earnings here in the UK for an author from their 
uh, from their writing is about ten thousand pounds which is like thirteen thousand dollars something like that so if you want to be a full-time author you really have to work hard at it and sell an awful lot of books in the meantime uh, amazon of course has come along and uh, kindle um, all these sorts of things have come in, thrown into the mix. And it has become so easy to publish now and to self-publish. So that uh, it, literally everyone in the world, it, it appears, is uh, writing a children's book nowadays. So there is an awful lot of competition. And I see people sort of really surprised when they uh, sort of bang out a children's book and stick it up on Kindle. Really surprised that they don't earn any money. Uh, if if you're going to self-publish, you know, you've got to market. You've got to do all that stuff. That's what you pay own a publisher for, and you need to do all that yourself. Honestly, the average person creating a children's book and uh, sticking it on Amazon is maybe selling ooh, twenty copies. Uh, if they're lucky, a hundred copies, and they're doing well. They they've obviously got a big family. Um, and very occasionally, very occasionally, something comes through, which is really, really good. And it does take off and everybody then gets excited and thinks that they can do it too. But um, you, chances are you probably won't. JK Rowling, of course, got everybody really excited and thought, oh, we can earn millions too. But, uh, but she really was you know, just the right person in the right place at the right time with the right story. She had been trying for a long time beforehand. No one was interested. And if it had been maybe two years later, she may have sold a few copies. You just don't know. A lot of it is about timing. So there you go. I'll leave it entirely in your hands as to whether you think uh, you've got the drive and the passion uh, to break through and become a, a well-famous children's author. Because it honestly is just the very few up at the top who a, a lot of it is just the finger of God coming down and pointing at them. Um, who are going to really make it big and make big bucks. So you'll find, as well as writing and maybe even illustrating, you're probably going to have to be doing lots of other stuff as well to get by. So thanks for watching. And in the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.